there everybody and welcome to a new video. I am playing a game called Bloodlust 2 Nemesis. Someone uh, contacted me asking me if I could try out this game of theirs and oh my god it looked pretty epic and I had to try it out for myself. I already played it a tiny bit to test it out see if it works on my PC and it seems to work just fine but the graphics or the quality is not really going to look the best in this video because I had to turn down the quality setting for it to actually... Uh, come out looking decent the video, but let's go ahead and get started Rise and awaken We are now starting the game. Don't leave. Come here. WASD to move. The left button to attack. The left mouse button, I think. <clears throat> yeah. And the right button to use the skill. Use mouse wheel to scroll through all skills. Escape key for main menu. And hint, be sure to talk with the strange lady before leaving. Alright. Off we go to the young lady. Hello! Okay, E to talk. Does this flesh suit you? Flesh? Well, what's going on? Where am I? Varak asked me to bring you here. How? Using your mind, my magic, and a drifter's body, you are now the custodian to this telekinetic vessel. How do you feel? I feel strange. Thirsty? Yes, this body is undead. Find Varric. He will explain why I've done this. Uh, Varric? What the? Go through the sewers to the warehouse. He's waiting for you there. However, I must warn you. This body's flesh and skills are weak. Yeah, I don't feel very strong. It's best you build them up as soon as possible. Increase your strength. Perhaps some charisma, or maybe some vitality. It's entirely up to you. But choose wisely, for the dangers in this dark city will test your capabilities quickly. What's with the floating crow? Er, uh, never mind. Anything else I should know? Yes. One more thing. Beware of the wraith. Neither you nor I own this body you possess. It belongs to the dead, and they will come for it eventually. Do not attempt to fight the Wraith. It cannot be destroyed, ever. The best you can do is run or hide, and hope it returns to the darkness. Oh, great. <laughs> Alright. The game seems pretty cool so far. It looks really awesome in my opinion. But okay. Let's go on, shall we? Upstairs we go. Uh, taking items on the ground. Press E to pick up any items nearby. Get close to items on shelf. Then, keep pressing E to continue picking up additional items nearby. Optional, press F key to cycle through items to pick up first. Eh, that I don't think I'm really gonna need, uh, but whatever. Okay, we got a small axe and a health elixir and an identity scroll. Okay, after taking the items, press the I button to open your inventory. Opening in the inv I cannot talk! <laughs> Opening inventory will cause your mouse cursor to appear, allowing you to click or drag any icons on the screen. Drag or right click the new axe to equip. Might be a good idea to dry your elixirs to hot bar for quick use. Okay then. I. Okay. Uh, three to twelve damage, ninety nine percent durability. The simple axe seems weak as hell. In this set to the quick bar. Does it mean down here? Yes, it does. And the identity scroll. Right click 
Then move scroll icon over a object in inventory and click to identify it. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get out of there. You know what? Uh, finding secrets. Use vampire gaze skill to find switches. Fly through the grates in the lower wall. Red glow straight ahead. And touch the exposed wire to short out the power. Then look for a nearby wall. Now open, revealing a secret room. Select vampire gaze skill with hotkey or using the, the mouse wheel. Mouse wheel. I kind of find it interesting how they call it mouse wheel. <laughs> but okay. Let's see what the ability is. Okay. Does it mean this or something? Oh, this is pretty cool. Is that what I had to do? Oh, come on. I'm not doing it very good. Oh. Oh, I get it. Is that what I had to destroy? I can't remember. Okay, CTRL to crouch. Press CTRL key to crouch. I cannot talk in this video. Allowing you access into tight and low places. When crouching, you are silent and less noticeable when moving. Alright. Let's go in here. Okay, collared shirt. Did you know? Depending on gender and class, sometimes you will find items that your character cannot use or equip. All loot is random. Also, the enemies in and your thirst in this dark world will not pause when sorting through inventory, stats, or skills. Be careful. Ah, damn it. Okay, college shirt for females. That I do not need since I cannot use it. Okay, tactical shirt, female. Damn it. Do they have to be female ones? Ooh, what's in this one? Holy shit! What the hell was that? What the freaking hell was that? That was freaky. Sorry, I pushed the wrong button. Okay, let's just get out of here. Health and thirst. How? Uh, I cannot talk. Health, spirit, force, and thirst are shown in upper left corner. How high your health regenerates depends on your quenched thirst. For example, if your quenched thirst is only 50%, then you will only regenerate to max health 50%. <laughs> okay. You must bite to feed and quench your thirst, allowing your health to regenerate higher. Okay then, select bite using hotkey or scroll through the skills using mouse wheel. Get near a victim and hold right mouse button to drink the blood. Release right mouse button to stop drinking. If you drink too much, then you will sire. Sire? What does that even mean? If current bite skill level allows it. If your bite skill is too low to sire, you will kill victims. Now that I don't want. Uh, I don't even see anyone here, game. Okay. Even though we can't see her, I feel bad for her. Okay, sorry, madam. <laughs> I had no choice. Calling your minions. If you have sired, then you can call your minions instantly by pressing the H key. Or send them away to heal by pressing the G key. Minions only heal when sent away. You start with level 1 bite, so you are allowed to sire one minion. Alright then. Okay, read the journal. If you are ever lost or not sure what to do, open your journal by pressing the J key. Press tab key to open all menu screens, characters, skills, etc. And on the mini map for, for exits to find new locations to explore. Hmm. I kind of want to go down here. Oh. Holy! Fire zombies. Okay. Not too bad for a battle system. Pretty awesome. Whoa. Okay then. I thought I thought that was gonna get worse. Okay. Where is there is there any good items around here? Magnified moonlight. Did you know that moonlight is actually sunlight re reflected off the moon? And when it's magnified through a special lens in the ceiling, it can be as bright as the sun and as deadly to the undead. Perhaps there's a switch to close the paint on the ceiling. Hmm. 
I don't think we'll be able to get to that specific switch around here anytime soon. Uh, there's... Let me just check something here. Pamp vampire gaze. Uh, is this it? Oh! Okay. Didn't think it'd be that simple. Okay, I had a gut feeling that was a uh, part of the wall I can destroy. I don't think this is a way I can actually go to yet. Or actually, like have to go to. Ooh, silver! You're gonna see me looking down a lot, guys, because I'm not used to keyboard controls, and I don't remember where my fingers are sometimes. <laughs> I am so bad with keyboard controls, let me tell you. Oh, you can jump, too, by the way. Woo! And we go. Some music got stuck in my head for a moment. Okay, where is my minion? Minions won't automatically follow you into new areas. Whenever you need help, press the H key. H for here to call your minion by your side to fight. Press G key, uh, G for go away to send them away to heal or find loot. I don't need all that right now. Ah! Holy shoot! Oh my god, oh my god. My attacks are not even hurting them! Holy hell! I pushed H for help! Holy hell! I'm... I was getting surrounded I couldn't move! Okay. What's going on? Um... I have no idea what freaking happened there. Okay. Freak off, you stupid gold! Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, I keep forgetting that they do that when they're killed. Ow! Man. You can tell that you clearly hit them, but sometimes their health does not go down. Ow! Stop that, punks! Okay. This, this game is still in, uh... I think beta testing? Where should I go? If I can remember, that's still gonna hurt me, right? Oh, unless it was something else. Yeah, I'm thinking of something else. Let's get out of here. Okay. Yeah! I'm gonna kill these monsters. Oh, I forgot all of a sudden. I think I leveled up so I can upgrade. Uh oh. I thought I killed all of them. It seems like the attack doesn't really hurt them unless you're up close to them. Oh well, it's still beta testing. People are just right now trying to test out the game. Uh, which, look, what is that up there? Level up C? Okay. We got 10 stat points right now. Vitality? I think I should, um, increase my vitality. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good for the moment. Strength, dexterity. Hmm. Range damage. Lockpick and determines. What should I increase right here? Persuasion. Affects dialogue and intimidation choices. Uh, I'll just do strength for now. Mm, excuse me. Let's get out of that. Alright. Off we go. Okay, this is where the game wants us to go, but I don't trust it. Uh, skill points, K. Okay. What can we do here? Two skill points are, are available. There's zero. Bert blasts your enemies with a loud shrieking yell. Huh. You know, lots of these look pretty interesting. Ooh! Ah, damn it, it's for witches only! Crap! That's a lightning type. It, uh, uh, yeah, screw it. Okay, transform, intimidate, night strike, 
Zero rep with Bugato required. Okay, warp to enemies and strike a critical blow. Otherwise, only 50% of enemy health damage. Some boss enemies are immune to it. Okay, then. Uh, disarm, poison, slam. Slam the ground till it creates a non-lethal poisonous gas to rise from the cracks. Some bosses are resistant. Hmm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yes, I want poison slam. Alright, got it down there. And what's this? Place a totem for radial damage to enemies. No. Shield bash, no. Summon spider, no. I might as well go ahead and get that. Okay, I think I've kept you long enough with that. Let's come up here. Oh, hold on. Talent points? I just saw something say talent points. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's see what this is. Receive one talent point per level up. We got two of them so far. Your intelligence uh, amount influences receiving talent points at your level 7. Okay. Beyond strong. You know, I kind of want to get that. Or unless... Actually, I think I already have these ones up here, from what I can tell. Because they're lit and all the other ones aren't. Or maybe I'm just being stupid. Okay, yeah. J just what I thought. You cannot do that. Oh, whatever, woman. Shut up. <laughs> okay, now let's continue on. Hel Who the hell are you? Okay, I do not want to get near you. But I don't think I have a choice. Oh, you're Varric. Are you in there, Fletchley? Or, I mean, Hunter. We built it good. Very good. Weak? Yes, you look much younger than I remember. Did you be, feel weak after the process, too? I'll do this one. That's normal. I'm gonna get better after we build up the best skills and attributes a bit. Uh, do you want to explain to me why Miko put me into the body of a vampire? Oh, yeah, that I can see where... Pfft, yeah, I'm sorry, I cannot talk. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah, I can see where they might be a bit nervous about that. In about ten days, you're going to be greeted with over 9,000 undead at your doorstep. Judging by past events, I might normally have faith in your ability to deal with the situation. But it would appear the undead have stepped up their game a bit. How? city under the authorization of the council are working on a new synthetic blood. The project is headed by the Taka Corporation under the codename Nemesis. Nemesis? Neural embryonic morphing immortal synthetic or new something or other. I don't fully understand it, but I do know it makes the kindred even more powerful, much stronger with increased senses and the ability to morph into any organic creature. That doesn't sound good. It's not. And when I heard of this, I thought it might be in your best interest to pay a visit to see for yourself. Possibly delay or even destroy production of this new blood before the enhanced undead appear at your gates. You couldn't have just given me a call, huh? Maybe you sent the plane ticket? It wouldn't have worked. With the new blood drug coursing through the undead's black veins, they can sense any hunter cells nearby. I'm starting to understand. The only solution was to place you into a telekinetic vessel. This is where Miko's talents come in. You should be safe from suspicion now, allowing you to move freely among the sect using only your mind and Miko's magic. Alright, sort of makes sense, I guess. Oh, and you will undoubtedly notice that insatiable feeling of thirst for blood. I'm afraid that the authenticity was a necessity. So, of course, this vessel is a blood feeder. Great. Okay, alright, so I'm here. Now what? Taka Corporate is in space in Chinatown, in a back room of a local herbal 
next door. The space is probably being used for a lab of some sort. It's not a main lab, but it's still something worth checking out. Where is this door? Chinatown. You can get to it through the large doors at the north end of this warehouse. But not so fast, since getting inside the lab section will most likely be tricky. So, how do I get in? Giggler. Giggler, huh? <laughs> wow, that kind of name? <laughs> Sounds like a real fun guy. Not exactly. In fact, he's just plain crazy. But unfortunately, someone you're going to have to meet. I think it was the leader that Ogata clad, and for whatever reason, Taka Corp is using him as their main guinea pig and test subject in their new blood trials, giving him access to some of their restricted areas. So let me guess. I sneak in and steal his key. Taka Corp's security is a bit more advanced than that. Giggler probably enters the lab like other Taka employees, using a retina eye scanner. So I will leave it to your imagination on how you're going to make that happen. He's got two eyes, and I only need one. Shouldn't be too hard. Where is he? He's in the Ogata hideout. It's a warehouse converted from an old deep dungeon uncovered under the city years ago. The entrance is behind a large metal garage at the end of the first alley in Chinatown. Deep dungeon, huh? Let me guess. Giggler is not going to be on the first floor, is he? Not likely. In fact, finding him probably won't be easy. His office is deep and possibly hidden. Better brush up on your intimidating skill, and then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. It's probably the only way you will ever find him. Intimidate skill, huh? Okay, I will try that out. Bye. Alright. Such a long dialogue, but not too bad. Okay, gonna go in that direction, but there's something... What's this? Oh, that's where I came in from. The asylum sewers. Is there any secret items or anything good around here? I want to destroy stuff, to be honest. But... You know, I wish there was a game where you can literally destroy anything and everything. Like... Even like the ground, putting holes in the ground everywhere. Unfortunately, I don't see a game like that anywhere where you can destroy anything and everything. Hmm. This looked like that was something I could probably destroy. I don't know. But alright, let's continue on. <laughs> oh, can I destroy you? No, I cannot. Okay, entrance to the time, uh, Chinatown. I almost, I almost said Tina Town. <laughs> Tina Town. Tina Town. What the hell? Where did that come from? Okay. Hello? Anyone out here? This looks pretty cool. I don't want to go over there yet. Oh, hold on, there's something over here. Uh, it just takes me to another area. Might as well just go ahead and start heading to where we need to be. Okay, to the Bogata hideout. I'm gonna need to level up a little bit. There's much better loot the deeper down you go. Stronger enemies, too. I need the blood. All oh, that blood all over my weapons. Better brush up on your intimidating skill and then find a guard to interrogate and set up a meeting with Giggler. Hello? I wasn't taking anything. Wait, who are you? You're not Bugatta. What are you doing sneaking up on people like that? You scared me. Don't worry. I'm not going to get into your business. Oh, good. But keep it down, huh? If the Bugatta catch me in here scavenging through your stuff, I'm burnt death. You might want to get out of here too since you don't look like you belong here either. Why? The Bugatta plan on using this dungeon as a warehouse to store ingredients for some sort of secret synthetic blood they're developing. This place is crawling with guards and they can smell intruders easily. Especially with that new crazy black nectar they're drinking. Synthetic blood? It's supposed to be better than the real thing. I don't know since I've never touched the fake stuff. I prefer my blood warm and dirty. I'm just in here because some of the bioproducts in the process are worse than Major De Niro. 
Not to mention the amount of weapons they have in this place could probably guard against the raid of the council itself, if necessary. Weapons? This entire dungeon is a huge burial chamber with thousands of weapons for buried with the fallen warriors from centuries past. Some are even supposedly enchanted with magic. I don't think that the gotta give a crap about any of that, though. They're just using this dungeon as a place to hide blood. Hmm, sounds interesting, but I'll let you get back to your scavenging. Oh yeah, one more thing. Watch out for the pits around here. If you get too close, you'll fall down into the next level. No warning or anything. Of course, that's where the good loot is. But it can be hard to find a way out once you go deeper than floor one. And there's also some pretty strong creatures down there, too. Thanks. Okay, then. So, this place seems pretty freaky. Hmm, you know what? It would definitely be interesting to see uh, Jack set the guy play this game. I'm not kidding. I would love to see him try out this game. Now, I'm sure the guy who made this game would love that. Return items to Chesta Bugata. No. Okay. Oh, is it this ready to go? Subfloor 2. Um, I don't know if I should go down there. Some's telling me I shouldn't, but another part is telling me I should. Or unless I unless I need to stay up here on this floor. Our guard. Hello. Stop! Sorry, I had to. Bayonet. Ooh, give me that. Cash. Silver bullet. Give me some silver bullets. Okay. The bayonet. Oh, that looks like it's only a weapon for thieves. Damn it. So I don't think I can do that. Snatcher! Gah! Ooh, western hat! Can I wear that at least? Uh, wait, hold on. Spiked ring. Let me put that on. Get it, its abilities. Silver. I really have no idea what most of these items are going to do. Now, I want to try the Poison Slam. I'm sorry, not the Poison Slam, the War Shriek. This place is a damn big maze. But, holy shit. This place is making me think of some other games I've played in the past. Can't think of the names right off the bat, though. Uh-oh. Click to smash face. <gasps> That was a little loud. Did anyone hear that? Okay. Okay, they're not hearing anything. Mask and tall boots. Which is mask. I'm guessing I could put that right there. If I was a witch, maybe. It's not red like this, so I guess I should be able to use it. Put on those boots. Oh, I was, I actually never noticed, I, I didn't notice I was barefoot until now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's try and use this war shriek on someone. Ah! <clears throat> Not doing anything! Holy freaking hell! <clears throat> Doesn't really seem to be affecting him. Screw off. I'm guessing it only have an effect on certain enemies. Hello? Whoa! I actually did not mean to do that. I am so sorry to anyone who owns this place. Okay. Now I'm not. Oh, I just saw a snake. Viper. Okay. Uh, mace and a steel sword. I don't think I'll be able to use those. Will I? Uh, steel sword. Apparently they're both destroyed, so I don't think I can use those. Hello? Hmm. What should I do here? 
Uh, let me try this. Okay, it's getting them. Holy shoot. <laughs> All of a sudden, it made it look like he hit the wall, and that's what killed him. That's what it made the game look like. Little puppy! Hello, doggy! <coughs> Sorry! <coughs> Holy crap! Move and dodge to avoid enemy strikes. <coughs> Don't you guys think that was a little too, uh... Uh, harsh? A little too cruel? Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, who knows. Jerk! Time to kill both of you! <laughs> Holy crap. I don't know how to use that. I thought it would take me to it once I uh, added it to my skills. I don't know how to use it, like, fast. Okay. What's this? Open crate. Holy! What the hell? What the hell was that? Okay, it says press shift. Went drop into... Spill or something? I couldn't tell what it said. Man, I can't really figure out anything with this game. <laughs> I'm bad with, P with PC or keyboard and all. Can't remember how it says how I how I can use the healing items. <laughs> oh my god! Come on! I can't freaking remember how to use my healing item. Uh oh! <gasps> Holy crap! Holy crap! Let's just get out of here for the, for now. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay. Guess I wasn't close enough to that. I'll go on ahead and end this video here, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I really had a great time with this game. Um, I might... Uh, I might do more videos of this if you guys want, but I'll have to think about it. But anyway, to the person, um, like, who, uh, who made this game, thank you so very much for giving me the Steam key to try it out. I really love this game, and it's very fun. And the PC controls, yeah, they seem to be simple enough for me to, like, to handle and get used to. Doesn't seem too hard for me right now. <laughs> but anyways, that's gonna be it for this video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.